You hear a lot about how AI is gonna change the world. Sometimes for good, sometimes for bad. You see it's helping businesses fire people and it's helping college students cheat. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use AI to get shredded as f And this is gonna work no matter what large language model you're using. You can use ChatGPT. You can use Gemini or Gronk if you nasty, you know? You can even use Claude if you swing that way, right? It's all good. <laughs> Sing the 90s, love whoever you wanna love. It's not hammer time. Listen, if you wanna use Claude, have two boyfriends, or go to a Ricky Martin concert, it's all good. I ain't tripping. This is gonna work for all of you. It's some inclusive <laughs> Here's how we're gonna use AI. We're gonna use AI to analyze our bodies. Pause. Help us make a game plan to accomplish our goals and we're gonna use AI to track our calories and macros. That's the one thing that you hate doing. I'm gonna show you how you can use AI to make it so fucking simple that if you don't do it after this, you'll have to just admit that you a lazy ass bitch nigga. And that's okay. Maybe you just make peace with that, that you gonna be fat. First thing we need to do is analyze our current physiques. So take an image of yourself, upload it to chat Jeopardy, preferably with your shirt off. And this is what you're going to say. You're going to give you your stats. I am six foot two and uh, 199 pounds. Estimate my body fat percentage. Based on this shit, boom, boom, boom. It's going to tell me how dope I am. Ba, 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 ba. Between eight and 10% body fat. Now you motherfuckers ain't gonna get that. Y'all don't look like this, man, chill out. But that's about pretty accurate. That's where I think I am. So now we have a baseline, right, of where we're at. I know that this is about 18, 19 pounds of fat, right? But you might have to say, how many pounds of body fat am I holding? All right, it's gonna tell you that. Boom, 16 pounds of body fat, uh, 20 pounds of body fat. Yeah, something like that. Somewhere in between, it's giving me a range, right? Now we've analyzed where we're at. That was step one. Step two, we need to say, make me a plan to get down to 6% body fat within 60 days. I can get there faster. Let's see if it get, if I say 30 days, let's see what it does. Cause sometimes it doesn't like me to get real aggressive. It's not safe. Sorry for most people. Ah, realistic and aggressive. Oh, they can give it to me. All right, cool. Boom, boom, boom. Calories or use about, this is fucking weak. All right, but anyway, let me edit the prompt a little bit. Using the keto diet. So say what kind of diet you want to use or just leave it blank. If you don't care what kind of diet you use. Also say how many days a week you have to work out. I can lift weights. Let's call it four days a week and give it any other context you have. Your prompt has to give a lot of context for it to come out good. It's difficult. It can be unsafe, blah, blah, blah. Yo, shut your bitch ass up, man. I still think these calories are rather high. This is fine. We got the plan, boom, food structure, meals. It's giving a workout plan and everything. All right, so now we got the plan. We got the game plan. Let's say we like this plan, or let's say you get a plan for someone else. It doesn't matter, right? It's giving me cardio, it must be the incline walk. This is not a bad plan. Once I gave you more context, it gave more plans. Stretching, yo, one thing, I never stretch. Like motherfuckers be like, do you ever stretch? Or like, no, nigga, never. And I never have no injuries. You can stretch if you want to, I'm not telling you not to, but I will uh, omit that part. I'm gonna show you how to use ChatGPT to track your diet. You can stop using My Fitness Pal. You never have to worry about tracking your diet any anymore. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to track your diet using ChatGPT. Just the prompt I'm gonna put in, it's pretty intense. But basically from now on, this is my daily food diary chat. It won't be on temporary mode if, when you really do it. I'm just doing it so I don't save the shit that I'm about to put in here. But we're gonna track my food, estimate the calories, everything, boom, 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 boom. So once you put this prompt in here, and I'll put the prompt in the description, it's gonna track your meals for a running total. And what you could do, you can just say what it is. Hey, this is five ounces of steak. So let's put breakfast steak. Let's call it five ounces and four eggs. Let's say you had that for breakfast. Boom, we put that in the chat. Boom, it's estimated the calories, boom, 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 boom. And the prompt gives you a running total throughout the day. 
So now you know how much protein you got. Uh, you can take out the cholesterol because that's not important. That was an accident. I didn't mean to put that in there. But the prompt is giving me the totals of the macros and the calories throughout the day. What's cool is you can use voice mode. You can just speak into it and say, hey, I just ate the seven chicken wings. So it's going to immediately give you the most recent entry, right? Boom, 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 boom. And then it's going to give you the running total. Right. So right now we're at just over uh, 1100 calories and we got 100 grams of protein. Now, the cool thing is you can also just take a photo. This is a photo I took last night. I was at the heat game and because I was sitting courtside, I couldn't have my scale with me where I usually weigh my food. But it's OK, because this does a really good job of estimating based off pictures. I'm going to just upload this chicken wing photo. I'm just uploading that. It's analyzing the image. Now you can just take pictures of your food, throw it up in there. It's going to tell you the calories, the protein, the carbs, the fat that's boom and it updates the running total of calories you had each day you guys see the power of this this is like kind of better than my fitness pal my fitness pal you got to search shit uh, you could just use your voice and say what you ate or take a picture of it so what i'm uploading now is a picture of a full meal we got eggs spinach blueberries scrambled eggs boom blueberries boom 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 now we got the running total for the day right it, it does that every day all right cool what we want to do is we type end of day and now it's going to total everything up. Boom. Summary in a table format. Everything you ate. Boom. And the totals for the day. And now it knows to start the next day. Now it makes tracking your calories easy. And if you can't do this, man, you full of shit, man. If you want the prompt, it'll be in the description. This is easy because I know some of y'all not going to do what I do. Y'all not going to walk around with a scale. You're not going to fucking put everything you eat in my fitness pal for over 10 years in a row like i just know y'all not gonna do that now there's no excuse anybody who says they're not tracking their calories now that we got this kind of technology you fucking tripping man you just don't want it bad enough and that's okay you just got to make peace with the fact that you're gonna be a fat boy man and you're gonna be obese you're gonna be fucking little kids who don't understand that only women get pregnant gonna be like yo is this guy pregnant be like nah he's just a fat boy you know what i'm saying if you grow a beard people gonna think you santa claus you know but it's cool man you could be jolly and shit the rest of us we're gonna start tracking our calories this is not what i do to be clear what i do is i keep a scale with me everywhere i go unless situations i couldn't like at the gang but i keep a food scale with me i track everything i eat put it in my fitness pal and even when i took the picture like that picture i, I took it of, of the chicken tenders at the game is because i couldn't bring my scale into the game and but i'll do that if it's a situation where i can't bring my scale then i'll, I'll just have chat gpt analyze the food well what i'll do in chat gpt uh, i'll say something like tell me how many ounces this is and then i'll go in my fitness pal find chicken tenders chicken fingers boom and then say six ounces or whatever yeah it works pretty well it, this is going to help a lot of you, you mother Motherfuckers would do anything except track your calories. Motherfuckers be asking me, yo, what peptides you use? I'm like, yo, you tracking your calories? Like, yo, look, bitch, nigga. You want to start injecting yourself with fucking random new substances? Same motherfuckers who were scared to take the vaccine is hype about some peptides. How about you just start tracking your motherfucking calories, you bitch, nigga? If you are a trainer, you know, the hardest thing to do is to get your clients to track their macros. Teach them this and have them track with this and then send you this every day this can be a shared chat you can have it's how you can train your clients both in person or online especially if you're doing online training set up a shared chat like this for them to put their macros in you can check it every day if you want to learn more about how you can start your online fitness business that's how i made my first million dollars and i've helped over fifteen thousand people grow successful online fitness business um there's a free ebook in the description it's called the 10 commandments of online training it'll show you exactly how to start your online fitness business even if you're not certified even if you don't have a lot of experience even if you don't have a big following it'll show you exactly how to do it